Hello and welcome to today's video on the stoic approach to dealing with adversity and setbacks. Have you ever experienced a setback or difficult situation that left you feeling helpless or overwhelmed? If so, you're not alone. Life can be tough, but there are ways to approach challenges that can help us maintain a sense of control and resilience. Let me share with you an anecdote that highlights the power of the stoic approach. There was a young man named Epictetus who was born into slavery and faced immense challenges throughout his life. Despite this, he became a renowned philosopher and teacher, inspiring countless individuals with his wisdom. Epictetus believed that we cannot control what happens to us, but we can control how we respond to it. This stoic mindset allowed him to overcome his obstacles and live a fulfilling life. Point 1. Acceptance. The first stoic principle we can apply to dealing with adversity is acceptance. This means acknowledging that we cannot always control external circumstances, but we can control our reactions to them. Research shows that people who practice acceptance have better mental health outcomes, including lower levels of anxiety and depression. When we accept a difficult situation, we can focus our energy on finding solutions rather than dwelling on the problem. As Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Acceptance is a key aspect of the stoic approach to dealing with adversity and setbacks. It involves acknowledging that there are certain things in life that are beyond our control, such as unexpected events or circumstances. While it's natural to feel frustrated, angry, or upset when faced with difficult situations, the Stoics believed that we should focus our energy on what we can control, our reactions and responses to these situations. Research has shown that people who practice acceptance have better mental health outcomes, including lower levels of anxiety and depression. One study found that acceptance was associated with reduced psychological distress and better quality of life among individuals with chronic pain, Hansen et al., 2017. Another study found that acceptance was linked to lower levels of anxiety and depression among cancer patients, Von Ah et al., 2012. When we accept a difficult situation, we can focus our energy on finding solutions rather than dwelling on the problem. This doesn't mean that we should simply give up or resign ourselves to the situation. Rather, it means that we should approach the situation with a clear and calm mindset, and look for ways to improve the situation or adapt to it. As Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Acceptance can be challenging, especially when we're faced with difficult or unexpected situations. However, by cultivating a mindset of acceptance, we can develop greater resilience and a sense of inner strength. We can learn to view challenges as opportunities for growth and development, rather than as insurmountable obstacles. So, how can we practice acceptance in our daily lives? One way is to develop mindfulness, the practice of being present and fully engaged in the current moment. Mindfulness allows us to observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment, which can help us to respond to difficult situations in a more balanced and effective way. By focusing on the present moment and accepting things as they are, we can develop greater resilience and inner peace. Acceptance is a powerful tool for dealing with adversity and setbacks. By acknowledging that we cannot always control external circumstances, but can control our reactions to them, we can cultivate greater resilience and a sense of inner strength. Through the practice of acceptance, we can learn to view challenges as opportunities for growth and development, and approach difficult situations with a calm and clear mindset. Point 2. Resilience. The second stoic principle is resilience. This means developing a mindset that allows us to bounce back from setbacks and challenges. Research shows that resilience is a key factor in success and well-being. When we face adversity, it's easy to become discouraged and lose hope. However, by adopting a stoic mindset, we can cultivate a sense of inner strength and determination. Epictetus believed that setbacks were opportunities for growth and learning. He said, difficulties are things that show a person what they are. Resilience is an essential component of the stoic approach to dealing with adversity and setbacks. It involves developing a mindset that allows us to bounce back from challenges and difficulties. Research has shown that resilience is a key factor in success and well-being. 
and that individuals who are resilient tend to experience lower levels of stress and better mental health outcomes. When we face adversity, it's easy to become discouraged and lose hope. However, by adopting a stoic mindset, we can cultivate a sense of inner strength and determination that can help us to overcome even the most challenging obstacles. Epictetus believed that setbacks were opportunities for growth and learning, and that by facing adversity with courage and resilience, we could become stronger and more capable individuals. So, how can we develop resilience in our daily lives? One way is to cultivate a growth mindset. The belief that we can learn and grow from our experiences, even the difficult ones. By adopting a growth mindset, we can view setbacks as opportunities for learning and personal development, rather than as failures or roadblocks. Another way to cultivate resilience is to practice self-care. This means taking care of ourselves physically, emotionally, and mentally, so that we are better able to cope with stress and adversity. Self-care can include things like getting enough sleep, eating a healthy diet, exercising regularly, and practicing relaxation techniques like meditation or deep breathing. Finally, it's important to cultivate a sense of purpose and meaning in our lives. When we have a clear sense of what we want to accomplish and why it matters, we are better able to persevere through difficult times and stay focused on our goals. By developing a strong sense of purpose and meaning, we can cultivate a sense of inner strength and resilience that will help us to overcome even the most challenging obstacles. Resilience is a key stoic principle that can help us to deal with adversity and setbacks. By developing a growth mindset, practicing self-care, and cultivating a sense of purpose and meaning, we can cultivate the inner strength and determination we need to overcome even the most challenging obstacles. By facing adversity with courage and resilience, we can become stronger and more capable individuals who are better equipped to handle whatever life throws our way. Point 3. Gratitude. The third stoic principle is gratitude. This means cultivating a sense of appreciation for what we have rather than focusing on what we lack. Research shows that gratitude is associated with better mental health outcomes, including greater levels of happiness and life satisfaction. When we focus on what we're grateful for, we can find joy and meaning even in difficult situations. Epictetus believed that we should be grateful for every moment we have, as life is fleeting and uncertain. He said, don't demand that things happen as you wish, but wish that they happen as they do happen, and you will go on well. The stoic principle of gratitude is a powerful tool for dealing with adversity and setbacks. Cultivating a sense of appreciation for what we have, rather than focusing on what we lack, can help us to find joy and meaning even in difficult situations. Research has shown that gratitude is associated with better mental health outcomes, including greater levels of happiness and life satisfaction. When we face adversity, it's easy to become consumed by negative thoughts and feelings. However, by focusing on what we're grateful for, we can shift our perspective and find a sense of inner peace and contentment. Epictetus believed that we should be grateful for every moment we have, as life is fleeting and uncertain. By cultivating a sense of gratitude, we can learn to appreciate the present moment and find meaning in even the most difficult circumstances. So, how can we cultivate gratitude in our daily lives? One way is to practice mindfulness. By paying attention to our thoughts and feelings, we can become more aware of the good things in our lives and develop a greater sense of appreciation for them. Mindfulness can also help us to stay focused on the present moment and avoid becoming consumed by worries and anxieties about the future. Another way to cultivate gratitude is to practice daily gratitude exercises. This can involve things like keeping a gratitude journal, where we write down three things we're grateful for each day. It can also involve taking time each day to reflect on the good things in our lives and expressing gratitude to others. Finally, it's important to cultivate a sense of perspective. When we face adversity, it's easy to become consumed by our problems and lose sight of the bigger picture. However, by cultivating a sense of perspective, we can learn to appreciate the good things in our lives and find meaning in even the most difficult circumstances. We can also learn to appreciate the challenges we face as opportunities for growth and personal development. Gratitude is a powerful stoic principle that can help us to deal with adversity and setbacks. 
By cultivating a sense of appreciation for what we have, staying focused on the present moment, and developing a sense of perspective, we can learn to find joy and meaning even in difficult situations. By practicing gratitude, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace and contentment that will help us to navigate the challenges of life with grace and resilience. Point 4. Mindfulness. The fourth Stoic principle is mindfulness. This means being present and fully engaged in the current moment. Research shows that mindfulness is associated with better mental health outcomes, including lower levels of stress and anxiety. When we're mindful, we can observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment, which allows us to respond to difficult situations in a more balanced and effective way. Epictetus believed that mindfulness was essential for living a virtuous life. He said, men are disturbed not by things, but by the views which they take of them. Mindfulness is a powerful stoic principle that can help us deal with adversity and setbacks. It involves being present and fully engaged in the current moment, without becoming overwhelmed by worries and anxieties about the future. Research has shown that mindfulness is associated with better mental health outcomes, including lower levels of stress and anxiety. When we practice mindfulness, we can observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment. This allows us to respond to difficult situations in a more balanced and effective way. Instead of reacting impulsively, we can take a step back and consider our options before making a decision. We can also learn to let go of negative thoughts and emotions, which can help us to stay focused and productive. Epictetus believed that mindfulness was essential for living a virtuous life. He recognized that our thoughts and emotions can be powerful forces that can either help us or hinder us on our path to personal growth and development. By practicing mindfulness, we can become more aware of our thoughts and emotions, and learn to respond to them in a more constructive way. There are many ways to practice mindfulness in our daily lives. One way is to simply take a few moments each day to focus on our breath and observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment. This can help us to stay present and fully engaged in the current moment, rather than becoming consumed by worries and anxieties about the future. Another way to practice mindfulness is to engage in mindful activities, such as meditation or yoga. These practices can help us to develop greater awareness of our body and mind, and cultivate a sense of inner calm and tranquility. In conclusion, mindfulness is a powerful stoic principle that can help us to deal with adversity and setbacks. By practicing mindfulness, we can become more aware of our thoughts and emotions, and learn to respond to them in a more constructive way. We can also learn to stay present and fully engaged in the current moment, which can help us to navigate the challenges of life with grace and resilience. By incorporating mindfulness into our daily lives, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace and contentment that will help us to thrive in the face of adversity. Conclusion in conclusion, the stoic approach to dealing with adversity and setbacks can be a powerful tool for building resilience and maintaining a sense of control in difficult situations. By practicing acceptance, resilience, gratitude, and mindfulness, we can cultivate a sense of inner strength and live a more fulfilling life. As Epictetus said, no great thing is created suddenly. It takes time and effort to develop a stoic mindset but the rewards are immeasurable. I hope this video has inspired you to embrace the stoic approach and face life's challenges with courage and grace. Thank you for watching.